Hello, 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 my tribe, my tarot detectives. Yes, as promised, I am bringing you another Idaho 4. I thought about this. I went on the internet, on YouTube, and just browsed videos and tried to look at comments, what I could find. Um, and I have decided I'm going to hone in on Bethany. Um, I want to do a deep dive into Bethany. Everybody talks so much about Dylan. And it's like, and Bethany is, she's there. They know that she could be a witness. What did Bethany see, et cetera, et cetera. And all the questions have been around, why didn't Dylan call 911? Why Dylan this? Why Dylan that? What was Dylan's connection here? Bethany's kind of off to the side. What's Bethany's real connection? And as always with my little disclaimer, this reading is for educational purposes only. This is my opinion, my interpretation of the cards. I'm just a blonde here reading cards, throwing cards out. That's all. Nothing is based on fact that I throw on this table. Okay? It's just an energy read. So, grab your choice of beverage, and you all know my favorite. Typically, I think I would have an iced coffee about now, but it's cold outside. So, no iced coffee. Regular coffee here. So let's dig in. It is so cold, I even have my heater on, then I got a little blankie here, and I got my cat up here. Funny story about my cat as I shuffle the cards. Uh, uh, we're going to start with these, because I want to get an overall Feel of the energy of the house on that day, the day of, prior to the unalivings. Don't be getting into anything, kitty. But funny story about Luna. <laughs> Earlier, she was laying on my shoulders, right? She decided to do a little putt-putt uh, right in my ear. And it was a squeak. A squeaky one and then she took off like a bat out of hell when the green cloud emerged and so did I I'm like oh no 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 and I know I didn't feed her anything odd just saying the only thing she had was a can of calf food I treat her with a can every once in a while and I treated her yesterday. Maybe that can of cat food gave her the um, uh, the methane um, reserve. Okay, filled up her methane tanks. Anyhow, I hope you like that story. My son laughed his ass off. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Show me the overall energy for the, the house. 11, 11, 2, 2, Queen Road. Even on the map, on Google Maps, it is called Queen Road. The initial uh, past police reports when they were called there for noise and partying, it was Queen Road. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Disguise. Confusion. Cloak. Oh, wow. Can you say cover up? Compelled. And... <clears throat> vision board okay in my opinion 
the energy in the house that day, right dead center was a cloak, covered, not talked about, in disguise. There was something going on in the house that day amongst the roommates that Dylan knows about and Dylan's not talking about. Let me adjust the camera real quick. It's bugging me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just cutting my head off a little bit too much. That's a lot better. Okay. Anywho. So, somebody had a vision or an idea. There was energy in that house that some people knew that something was going to go down that day, that night. They knew it, and they pretended not to know it. And there was a lot of confusion, I would say bickering and arguing, going on. And somebody was compelled to take some action here. They were compelled to act upon a certain idea, a, a vision that they had. And they are under cloak. Now, may I remind you, or you remind me, who is this reading about? Exactly. So, and what did I say opening up? I said that Dylan is the one who is least, or not Dylan, I'm sorry, Bethany is the one who is least talked about. This reading is about Bethany's energy. And I was just asking, what is the overall energy in the house? And the one that's cloaked, the one that's hiding, the one who seems to be extremely well protected, dead center. Who knew that there was a vision that had to be covered up. You know, an idea that somebody was compelled to act on. And this action was a result of some kind of chaos. Now, I'm really curious if this had anything to do with Dirty South. I'm really curious. Okay, I am reading reversals in this. Just saying. Spirit wanted me to use reversals today in all my readings. Uh, my guides are challenging me to use reversals a little bit more. And I had noticed, like in the two personal readings, that it did enhance the readings. Brought even more clarity to them and understanding. That's my one of my hang-ups. Don't want to use reversals, and I and I've been called to use reversals for a long time, and I've said that. But let's just see. Let's see how this reading goes with reversals. As you can see, I'm twisting the deck around to get those reversals in there. Okay, first question I want to ask is, what does, what kind of exalpatory information or evidence does Bethany have that could help Brian Koberger? What does she know? That could help Brian Koberger, and I want five cards. That was the, this was the first. That was the second. This was the third. This was the fourth. And I want one more card. One more card. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let's see what we've got here. And this one is, we got a spinner here. We've got a spinner. Apparently, it had to spin itself in the correct position. We've got the sun. With the knight of cups. Dead center. Two of cups in the reverse. Temperance in reverse. And the magician. Okay. And under the deck, nine of cups. Okay. What we have, what does she know that could help Brian Koberger? First of all and foremost, she does not want to come forth and speak. Let me make that very clear under the deck. She's saying, yes, I know something. I do not want to speak about it. Concerning an abuse of power, emperor in the reverse. Somebody in control that she saw was out of control. Somebody that she saw as a um, tyrant, maybe even afraid of. That lived outside the house. So, she knows whoever this person, she knows who the killer is. Or she suspects. That's what I'm getting here. She knows exactly who came rushing in that house that night. And killers. And she knows that they weren't supposed to be there. Okay? And she knows that there is somebody in power who abuses power. And that she knows who they were. But she doesn't want to speak about it. Okay? In fact, she pretends like she doesn't know. She knows. She, this is the one who knows who doesn't speak. In the reverse could be, I don't know. This is saying, she's saying, I don't know who it was. I, I didn't know them. Okay. But, this tells me a different story. This is the lover boy. The Castronova. The one who is the sweet talker who brings the roses and the wine. This is somebody she had some she knew very well was in that house that night. And she knew that the person came with their heart on their sleeve may have been met with rejection. The two of cups in the reverse is a disagreement, not being on the same page. And whatever this was could not be healed. It was not mixing well. Okay? It was not mixing well. So somebody, upright is somebody who is manifesting, who has all the tools and resources to manifest their Hopes, wishes, and dreams. But both of these are in the reverse. Dreams denied. Which caused somebody to be extra manipulative. Trickery. So this raises a question to me. Was Bethany tricked into allowing somebody in the house? Because... They came with supposedly disguised good intentions or she that stays undercover really know that there was trouble in paradise between two people. 
and there was no healing the situation that this person who's supposed to be a lover boy, who's supposed to be romantic, who's supposed to extend their heart outward, was doing so in a manipulative way. So it makes me wonder if we have somebody here maybe tricked into believing that everything was great. But the center of it tells a different story. Wasn't so great. And she doesn't want to talk about it. Somebody's trying to manipulate her, exhibit some kind of power and control to get her to talk. And she doesn't, against her will. She doesn't want to talk about the upset of what happened, the breakup of the family. Her family as in her household. Okay. So this um, Knight of Cups, let's just ask, does she know who the killer is? Or who does she believe is the killer? Well, she had, it feels like she had a connection to somebody that came to that house. Um, how do I want to ask this? So we asked first, what evidence did she have that could exonerate Brian Koberger, right? It involves a breakup of some sort, and she knows it. Um, Let's just ask, does she know who the killer is? Let's just ask point blank. Does Bethany know the killer? Does she know who he was? Or killers? Let's just do it this way. Knight of Cups has come up again. Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Fellow student. This is saying she had commu- I think she had commu- you got to be shitting me. Another page. Page of Cups. Ace of Wands. Aces are yeses. What's underneath the deck? Hangman in the reverse. So underlying... Oh my gosh. Uh, we got the hangman in reverse and the devil in reverse underneath the deck. She's saying, I'm cutting myself loose from this. I don't want any involvement. Um, so she's not willing to sacrifice herself for the devil. But at the same time, there are seeds being planted that had been planted. It did not grow. Um. She's like, I am not going to be the one that bears the fruit. She again, that I that idea, I'm not talking. Dead center, the student, okay, communication, text messages, maybe some flirtatious text messages that seemed upbeat. 
But there's an offer here, an invitation. What I'm picking up here, especially with the disguise and somebody acting on impulse, on a vision, felt compelled they had to. Under cloak, you know, they were behind a mask. They were somebody in disguise. So, what I feel this is about is, she definitely knew who this person was. Whoever the lover boy was. And that's at least one of them. She knows at least one, maybe three. You know what I'm getting? Fracked. Uh, allegedly speaking, entertainment purposes only, my opinion, frat boys. And then we got somebody leading the pack. We've got four. And she knew who these were. And it started with some text messages, maybe some flattery talk to Bethany. Okay. May, that made her feel good. Maybe even, dare I say, arousal. Okay. And she extended the invitation, the offer. Come on over. Come on over. But when shit went down, this was like somebody not looking at things objectively, not being enlightened. She, um, this almost feels like she's, she's already seen things. She's looked at things from different angles. But she's not acknowledging it. She's not acknowledging the devil that was in the house. So to answer that question, she knew them. I repeat, them. Okay. I've said it all along. There couldn't have been one person that did all four heinous crimes in 15 minutes. I don't even think they were all done at the same time, to be honest. That's it. Right. So, what were Dylan's feelings towards the Knight of Cups prior to the Unalivings? What were her feelings towards that Knight of Cups before the Unalivings? What were her feelings towards that Knight of Cups prior to the Unalivings? Hierophant. That's huge. That is huge. We got our Seven of Pentacles again. I thought this. Ten of Cups. I kind of had a feeling... There's the house. Four of Wands. Relationship. Seven of Wands. What's the underlying energy? The chariot. What is this saying? Somebody traveled. Somebody was on the move. Somebody in control. This screams 
somebody barking orders and definitely in control. That she felt committed not to cultivate. She stood there and waited. Okay. It feels like she's been waiting on this person that she viewed as the King of Cups. This screams relationship. Did she have a crush on somebody? Did she see somebody as relationship material? And I asked specifically, did she know the killer? Or her connection to the killer, right? And there's the defense. There's the blockage, the defense in the house. Taking a stand. Definitely some kind of protection. To me, this feels like, or this is, we ask, how did she feel about the killer? This, she really knew him well. Did she not? This is somebody that uh, doesn't feel like they're from the area. That she had r very deep romantic feelings for. That she thought would be a commitment type commitment material. She wanted a relationship. But it feels like they put up a block on that. That's interesting. She wanted one thing. She had one idea. The, we'll say, killer, perpetrator, or one of the killers. The, the head man. That this was about the king of cops. Or the knight of cops, right? Mr. Romantic, flirtatious. Um, I would say that he kind of led her on to a point. See what else is under the deck. Queen of Swords. There's the Ice Queen. But this is somebody who knows the truth. About, even about, she saw a vehicle. This is about the vehicle and everything. That she, she is keeping the truth to herself and guarding it. Because we have somebody who is really being, this king of cups turned into the king of swords in the reverse. Somebody dishonest. Somebody ruthless, calculating, <clears throat> I feel, may have threatened to put her own, her light out if she said anything. So, she keeps the truth to herself. <clears throat> And I said, how did she feel prior to the incidents? You know, romantic. But she, at the end, she was met with resistance. It's like after that fish hook, the fish was reeled out there. Remember the fish in the page of cups? He got Bethany on the hook, right? And then she slammed it to a wall. It was going nowhere. And she was very patient, thinking that this was going to go somewhere.
And if you recall, in the last spread, we did, was it the last spread? Or the first spread, we did have the Two of Cups in the reverse. So there was some kind of discord between two people in relationship status. It's like, like a breakup or a connection that did not come together. Now, putting this all together, this is feeling so much like Dylan's hopes dashed, but she can't say anything because she is being manipulated and somebody's abusing their power with her right down to threats. And the King of Swords in the reverse can be physically violent. Um, I'm thinking that maybe her life was threatened. Just saying. Okay, we got that done. Let's just ask another question. Did she know Brian Koberger? Like, what was her connection with Brian Koberger, if any, prior to the incident? energy between Bethany and Brian Koberger, allegedly speaking. Just in case any of you decide to skip part of half of this and tune in in the middle. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Ace of Wands. This is like saying any kind of romantic or, or sexual or any kind of flame was snuffed out. Ten of Pentacles. There is some kind of familiarity there. Something went south. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Something did not go. Page of Cups in the reverse. Okay. I see what this is going. Underlying energy. Nine of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. And there's the King of Wands. Four of Wands. And the Chariot. Okay, what I'm getting here overall with Bethany and Brian. I'm seeing this Knight of Cups. Yes, this is the Castanova, but this feels like somebody... Bethany may have tried to make a play for Brian, and he shut it down. Okay. I'm not seeing Brian having any interest in her, nor even trying to flirt with her, or lead her on in any way. That's why I feel this Knight of Cups is not representation of somebody else that was in a relationship. This is somebody, this is I'll get back to my thought here in a minute. You know, there could be more than one person be represented by the Knight of Cups. But 
this is extending my heart, extending my emotions, being shut down. But he's been to the house before. Ten of, one, ten of Pentacles. He's been there. He knew the people that lived in that house. And he, because he knew that, it was used against him. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. His connection and him knowing Bethany <clears throat> was used against him. Page of Cups in the reverse is with the Knight of Cups. There is a rejection of somebody's advance. Specifically, I asked what was the connection between her and Brian Koberger. Well, it was not a fortunate connection here. There was no sexual interaction. There was no passion. There was no spark. But he knew the family. He knew the people that lived in the house. And that was a problem. And because he's been there before, that's why his phone would ping there. He's been to the house. He's been to the house. He knew, BK knew the people, the residents there. But, he's also showing up as somebody that can be trusted and relied on. Okay? Slow moving, methodical, careful. And he dealt with the King of Wands. Who's the King of Wands? That's going to be my ne I'm curious. This is somebody large and in charge. This is somebody who's very charismatic. Somebody who is very energetic. Um, and is looking at that Nine of Cups. And that's Wish Fulfillment. So, the connection between the two of them seemed like a win-win situation for Bethany and the King of Wands. Okay? I apologize. I don't know where the camera shut off. This is driving me bonkers. And it is this software. Anyhow, as I was saying... His connection to that house deals with the drug trafficking. Okay. There is a king of wands. Who is there? Um, I'm wondering if BK brought drugs to the house. Because that's kind of... He's coming across as the guy who can be relied on and trusted. At the house. Um, he was either bringing them to the, to the house or he was leaving with them, but a trusted customer. The one that everybody, that the king of wands just loves, right? Now there's opportunity here with what happened, but I wasn't exactly... Asking the connection to Beyond the Livings. I was just wanting to know how his connection to Bethany. How did they know each other? And that's how. They definitely knew each other. I think she had a crush on him. And it was shut down. It could have been in reverse too. He could have had a crush on her and she shut him down. But I'm feeling more the opposite. I'm feeling more the opposite. Which is curious. How innocent is BK really in all of this? Okay.
Let's get into a little bit more. Okay, as I started this reading, we were talking about the energy of the house, right? Prior to the unalivings. And we did get confusion and disorientation disorder. There may have been, people might have been drunk, high, whatever. You know, the on the 12, 11th, 12th, you know, right before the incident happened, out partying, etc. But there was a big cover up there. Okay. Now, I do want to know. I'm probably going to do a part two on this. This is probably going to be part one for Dylan. Let's ask. Her. I don't know why I keep going to Ethan as well. Bethany's energy is coming up as being as somebody looking for acceptance and love. Okay. So what I want to do now is kind of dig into Bethany's history, why she feels this way. Um, with her and her roommates and everything. And then I'm going to include this reading and there will be a part two. Okay. Okay. Bethany's energy is the Ten of Cups. Happiness. Looking for happiness. Um... The moon in reverse. Okay. So. Family oriented. Shedding light. Her energy is shedding light on family issues. Okay. Um, it feels like her family life. And I'm not referring to the house itself. I'm, I'm feeling like growing up. A good family life, happiness. The moon in the reverse is no secrets in the family. Um, tower in the reverse. Uh, okay, no secrets about her family. The tower in the reverse was recovery. Energy was a Avoiding or avoiding a tower within her own family. Um, it, she's almost coming across as the peacemaker in her own home. As far as parents or siblings and stuff like that. We're talking her home home. Not 1122 Queen Road. Devil in the reverse. Yeah. There's probably some manipulation, negativity. Appearance of happiness that something being revealed may have created a tower moment that she has not recovered from yet in a hidden devil. Allegedly speaking, that her whole thing was about escaping something that was binding to her, something negative. So she put on this happy face. Everybody looked at her as being happy. But there's some kind of revelation. I'm really curious about that. 
And I didn't do the crossing card. Let's see what that is. Yeah, Page of Swords in the reverse. Manipulation and lies. So, or something being uncovered. There's more to Bethany than meets the eye. Spying, watching, being spied on. Um, quiet. That's interesting. Hermit in the reverse. A homebody. Coming up. She came out of her shell. When she went to college, she came out of her shell. But in the past, it was like she was very secluded, very much alone. Let me get the rest of the cards because I'm getting some energies here. Two of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Four of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. On the surface, it looked like a happy family, her environment growing up. But there was a lot of negativity that she kept hidden, she kept secluded, she kept to herself to try to avoid something very negative. There was a tower moment or something brewing, waiting to happen. And she wanted out of her own house before shit hit the fan. And so she went to even a different state to go to college because she saw an opportunity. Her low outlook on her family life was change. I'm making change. I'm going to better my life. Because my environment is broken, broken home, broken family. She saw leaving and going to that college as an opportunity to ground herself, make something of herself. Um, a little bit of cup of self-love there. But what is really concerning to me is, I, I'll call it like it is. I'm picking up an energy, allegedly speaking my opinion, how I'm reading the energy. Essay. Growing up. By somebody in the family. She's never spoken about. And I'm wondering if she had to leave because there was some kind of revelation or discovery some kind of light being shined on that family that maybe there was something shady going on there. Allegedly speaking. So she made plans to escape that and to travel and to get away from that. Before the tower. Avoiding a tower. Little did she know she was jumping from one tower situation to another. But this is showing broken home here. And she saw college and this opportunity to go to um, Idaho as a golden opportunity to really make something of herself. Under the deck, yes, cutting herself loose and having no regrets about it. Because... She was, she was putting an ending, a final ending, to judgment. She was being harshly judged. And it kept her from moving forward. So, she took off to study abroad. So that is Bethany's history that I'm picking up on, allegedly speaking. I do want to get this devil in the reverse energy, though. What is this devil in the reverse? Queen of Wands. A 
I'll tell Eight of Cups in the reverse. Wow. King of Swords. O-M-G. She escaped the devil and went into another one. Queen of Wands. You know, all this time, you know, I always looked at the Queen of Wands as Dylan. What if the Queen of Wands was Bethany? The King of Swords told her she had to come back home. She left to escape that. And the King of Swords, seeing this as opportunity, this is returning home, returning back to her family place. Back to another place of discord. Allegedly speaking. Okay. I am definitely going to make this into two parts. So that you don't have to watch an hour long reading. Okay. Very telling so far. Okay. Love and light.